Hey everybody, it's Paul with 125 Roller Coaster Challenge and we are here at Niagara Amusement Park. Oh, and Splash World. And we are here to show you all the things that are going on when it comes to live entertainment here at this park. Now, a lot of parks have not done any new live entertainment uh, all year, last year, pretty much since COVID. However, Niagara Amusement Park has a lot of different shows, believe it or not, that they have throughout the day. And this video is gonna go over each one of them. But you know what, before we start, let's kick off our intro. All right, wasn't that introduction simply fantastic? So just like with the Let's Eat and Let's Play, we're actually gonna break down the shows into four different categories here. And uh, they're right there on the right-hand side, so if you wanna follow along, uh, the first one is special events. Now, a lot of these take place, kind of like Carnival over at the Cedar Fairs or the Food and Wine Spirits. These are limited time events, uh, usually at larger parks. So the next one is the summer shows. Now here at Niagara Amusement Park, there is a lot of summer shows and that's basically what you're gonna see today. Uh, there's uh, summer shows, uh, pretty much there are two or three times a day all throughout the summer. The uh, third level, of course, is the kitty shows. Now, uh, kitty shows, of course, are, uh, especially here, Kitty Land's got two different stages. So there's gonna be uh, different shows throughout the days, but they're geared towards kids, not mostly adults. And last but not least is, you know, uh, where do you want to meet and greet the uh, characters? Uh, a lot of these parks have uh, mascots and there's different areas and different times that the mascots show up there. So if that's the case, we're going to show you where that is. So now that we explain what the different kind of show breakdown is, you know what? It's time for us to uh, show you the shows. So we're in the heart of Kitty Land here and pretty much throughout the day, they actually have a nice little stage here. Pretty much on the far end, uh, pretty much hugging the uh, mini golf course, which is right there. And this is a theater that they use for uh, marionettes and puppets. So there's a puppet show here. Um, throughout the day, uh, two or three times a day, they say they usually have them here. But what I like about it is, while most people don't even have any shows, uh, here they actually got a nice little seating, and it's uh, right in the heart of Kitty Land and the mini golf. And it gives you a nice little perspective. And you can kick back, relax, and enjoy a fun little puppet show for the kids. Now, when you're talking about shows, the Western town, travel backwards through time and back to the Old West, is actually their main show here. And they have show times, this is a Tuesday, so they have it two times a day. Uh, so basically they have a 3.30 and 5.30. And basically this one is a Wild West shootout there. You actually have people coming off the buildings. So this whole section here by the Golden Nugget actually has everything you need to know right there. Uh, they, they run around on the, sh the top of the buildings, they fall flying down. They utilize this entire area for this show. Uh, now we may not be able to catch it, we caught the pirate show, and you'll see bits of that a little bit later, but this is the main show uh, here at uh, Niagara Amusement Park. And they incorporate a lot of new things here. So this whole area here is 100% Western themed, and they utilize the whole thing as a stage. So right there is the bean bags where they fall down, that's where they come off the roof. Uh, there's a shootout over here. This whole area, they really utilize it. So if you are coming to Niagara Amusement Park, this is the show you must see. Now we're right here in the heart of Kitty Land, uh, pretty much right by the carousel. And you follow the Yellow Brook Road and it takes you right here to a pirate stage. So there's actually two different kid shows that take place here. And uh, in particular, this is a great little location. It's right in the heart of everything here. Uh, and of course, they got pirate theme shows twice a day. Uh, if we were able to catch one later on, we're gonna make sure that we show that for you here. But love the stage, love, um, it's not as big of a uh, performance area as the puppet area that we showed you earlier, but you know what? It's a nice little thing and it's a nice little change of pace. Uh, pirates and cowboys, that's what Niagara Amusement Park's all about. So believe it or not, we're already about halfway done with our Showtime video, and uh, if you're this far along, guess what? You might actually like what we do here, uh, especially when we're highlighting such a great park like Niagara Amusement Park. But you know what? If you are liking this, let people know. Hit that like button. It's a simple click for you, but it means a lot to us. It lets the algorithm know that you like this kind of content, and of course, it makes us feel all warm and fuzzy inside. But without further ado, let's uh, kick off the second half of this video. All right, looks like the pirate show is about to start. Others, well, 
So that's a good introduction and gives you a little example of what's going on here at Niagara Amusement Park. So one thing that's really neat about what Niagara is doing is so this is a train station. The train just left and all that and um, you know basically goes around the entire park but you know what there's actually shows here and there's actually a show called robbery on the rails so you got yourself a nice little cowboy show where they basically try to take over the train uh, here it's only one day but during the weekends they have it two or three times there but I really love the fact that um, pretty much they actually have a show that incorporates their train so Hop aboard the Iron Horse and witness the first-hand misadventures of the Brandon Gang as they attempt to pull off yet their biggest heist yet. So, um, well, like I said, while a lot of places aren't doing uh, a lot of shows, the fact that they incorporate a show into their train uh, once or twice a day is just amazing and uh, something I think everybody should go and enjoy. All right, you just watched Showtime here at Niagara Amusement Park. So what show was your favorite? Was there a particular stage you thought was really cool? Let us know in the comment section. And uh, you know what? If you got to the end of this video, you might actually like this video. So make sure you hit that like button there. Uh, it helps us out with the algorithm, lets people know that this kind of content's out there. And you know what? It puts a smile on our face. And last but not least, if you're new to the 125 Roller Coaster Challenge, uh, you know what? Maybe consider subscribing. We're hitting 50 parks this year. We're doing a lot of different videos. The Explorers, the Let's Plays, the Unplugs. And you don't want to miss a thing there. So by subscribing and hitting that uh, notification bell, you're not going to miss a thing. So once again, this is Paul. 125 Roller Coaster Challenge. We're here at Niagara Amusement Park in Splash World in Grand Island, New York. And guess what? We can't wait to see you in the queue.